With the wrestling world still reeling about the passing of Bray Wyatt, the Hulkster has aired his own story about death too. Welcome back to Fog Wrestling. This is a weird one. And uh, yeah, let, let's dive into it. So Hulk Hogan has been called out over a story he told about Simon Kyle and Wembley Stadium. During an interview with Muscle and Health magazine, Hulk Hogan told the following story about record executive Simon Kyle and Wembley Stadium. And uh, yeah, guys, I advise you strap in for this one because this one is a bit crazy. Oh, sorry, let me just rewind there. Boom. He, Kyle, came to help with the wrestling album. Long story, uh, long story. I'll make it short. I was in Wembley Stadium and I saw a lot of Make-A-Wish kids. It was me, Michael Jackson, Mr. T. It was the Make-A-Wish kids during the 80s and 90s. I had a kid that was in rough shape. The EMT were with him. And he was on the stretch, and you know, and his body odor, body odor and stuff. It had a smell to it that I hadn't smelled in a while. Not bad, but it was just a different type of smell. I, I really wasn't sure what it was, and the parents were freaking out. They were Hulkamaniacs. <laughs> I told the doctors and the EMTs, you know, this kid is in kind of trouble here, you know. So let me say my goodbyes and give him a hug and kiss him. I got a nice place from at ringside at Wembley, and, and so it was all roped off. So I went to rest, and I kept looking. I kept looking, the kid wasn't there. So when I came back from wrestling, I was the last person to wrestle the main I said, what happened to the family out there? They said, the kid passed away so when i find out the kid passed away my manager jimmy hart the mouth of the south he used to be in a band too he had a couple of number one songs hit here in the states and i played music before so we stayed up all night and we wrote 12 songs for the kids family i didn't know anybody in the uk and jimmy knew somebody from select records and they got a hold of simon kyle he produced a little album for us and it went number one on billboard for eight weeks and we gave and donated the money to the family then simon came back to me and said we need to do a song with a band called Green Jelly over in the UK. Something called Leader of the Gang, a Gary Glitter song. Damn. So that did really well on Build War 2. So I came back to the States. I had the crazy idea since I was wrestling. Maybe we should do music here. So I grabbed Cindy Lauper and Rick Derringer and a bunch of people and we recut a bunch of songs. Land of a Thousand Dances and stuff. And Simon came over and produced the wrestling album. Then he came and produced the second wrestling album, Pile Driver, and he never left. Um, he stayed here and he became this monster producer and the nicest guy in the world. He plays a tough guy on TV, but he's a real sweetheart. He's a real nice guy. It's amazing because I've watched him on America's Got Talent. You know, he's doing the character. You know, he's doing the Simon Kyle up there. Uh, you know with the stern face, but in real life, he's a real sweetheart. Hogan never actually wrestled at Wembley Stadium, nor did Cole have any involvement with WWE until 93's WrestleMania album. Wrestler reporter David... Vixen Span has called Hogan out with the following comments. Hogan did an interview with Muscle Health Magazine. That's the wildest Hogan interview ever for lives per minute. The kid he made up who died before he wrestled at Wembley Stadium now died at State Wembley Stadium after Hogan um, noticed a death order. And then there's just more. So, yeah, I mean, I'm willing to believe Hogan first over this reporter until like other news comes out. Because this just seems like a crazy story that the Hulkster wouldn't... Like, why is he making up? For no more um i just i just don't get it um so yeah we'll have we'll, crazy crazy couple of days and pro wrestling guys of course every post is about uh you know Wyndham rotunda aka bray wyatt uh we we'll do a smackdown preview later on the night and uh we'll see because i i think it's kind of i think they should do a tribute show personally I mean, I'm not saying that they should just do it because it's been a while since we've had one, but I think the fact that like he, he was a part of the main roster, and it pretty much is the first death since Ben Wall, who's actually like an active part of the roster. I know he wasn't there since February, but he still, you know, contract that still was supposed to come back. So let's have it, guys. Let's have it. But until next time, peace.